Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Here's a blast from the past for Washington Wizards fans. Do you remember this face, this man? It's Karan Butler. He was a part of the Washington's Big Three from 2005 to 2010. That trio was made up of Karan, Gilbert Arenas, and Antoine Jameson. In fact, he made his first all-star team with the Wizards. Well, recently Karan teamed up with author Justin A. Reynolds on a new novel called Shot Clock. And they are both joining me now live here on Great Day Washington to tell us all about it. Karan and Justin, welcome. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Congratulations on the book. Karan, we're so excited to see your face back here in Washington, D.C. How did this book come together? Oh, man, I'm excited to be back here as well. And the book came you know, to life because it was real life situations happening. Um, it was adversity that kids was going through in this traveling program that I created in Racine, Wisconsin. And I just wanted to shine light on the adversities that they was going through. And I, I also wanted to, you know, just give them some hope mm -hmm. and, you know, change some narratives. As I was looking at some of the stories that was being told, it was a void of the real authentic stories that was reflecting the time now, what was happening with young people. And I just wanted to give them, you know, a sense of guidance, um, something that I was doing in real time, being a mentor to a lot of young people that uh, lost hope, that mm -hmm. lost belief. And I wanted to just, you know, instill some of that back into the communities. And so you two came together to write this book, the first book in a new uh, middle grade series, just in how important is chemistry when writing something and putting a project like this together? Uh, it's super important. It can't be underestimated. But uh, for right from the beginning, the first time that Karan and I talked, we, we could tell that our, our vision was clearly aligned. Uh, we were on the same page when it came to what was most important, which was not only reflecting the truth and, and making sure that we put forth real authentic stories, but that we also uh, cast a light on the fact that so many uh, children here, even in this country, uh, have lack of resources, um, lack of, of, of dreams because they haven't seen much past their own realities. And so we were hoping to mm. uh, kind of cast a light on that and say that if we were to provide them with opportunities, with abilities that they could dream bigger, uh, then there was no uh, ceiling as to what they could accomplish. I love that so much. Karan, I know basketball taught you so much. Playing in the pros taught you so much along with your teammates. So what are these kids that you're helping? What have they been teaching you? That, you know what? To, you know, stay determined, to stay dedicated, to stay disciplined, and mm. to, you know, the importance of we do need mentors. We do need people to reach back. We do need people to... Uh, believe in young people and it's a lack of that you know they taught me to keep dreaming you know the reason why I created this whole concept me and Justin is because it was a need for it because kids needed it and they took it and they ran with the whole thing and hopefully once they place this in front of kids they just start believing and, yeah. and, and understand there's no silence to their process so exciting and I bet learning this from you guys is, is just so uh, monumental for them. So, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you so much. Karan, we'll see you on the sideline at some point this upcoming season. <laughs> Appreciate it. All Thank right. You. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, coming up, we are.